so winter is right around the corner and there are some things that I do every year to get ready for winter, some personal things, and I think you might find them interesting and very helpful. So stick with me, I'm gonna share my whole list with you. So two of my get ready for winter things are related to my hands. Believe it or not, I have so much trouble with my fingers and my hands in the winter. And where I live in Kentucky, it doesn't even get that horribly cold, but I am one of those people that gets cracks on the tips of my fingers and on my cuticles, and those little suckers hurt so bad. But about seven or eight years ago, I discovered the secret to keeping those little cracks at bay, and it's something that I have to do every single night when I go to bed, once we start turning on the heat in our house and winter's here, that secret is kept in my drawer in the bathroom. I'm just gonna go on and get it out now. I keep it on my countertop, so when I'm getting ready for bed at night, this is one of the first things that I have to do. This is my secret, A&D Diaper Rash Cream. If you are somebody like me that fights those little teeny cracks that happen on the tips of your fingers and on the edges of your cuticle, they are so, so painful. And it's, I don't know why they happen, it just happens. It's happened to me for a lot, a lot of years and it's only in the winter time. And I have talked about this in several videos. I feel like I do a video about it every single winter because it is so upsetting to me. But now that I know the secret, the A&D diaper rash cream, this stays in my bathroom. I put it on my fingertips every night at bedtime. After I've washed my face and I brush my teeth, I actually slather this on the tips of my fingers and then I get in bed. And there's something about the cream, not the ointment. It has dimethicone and zinc oxide in it. And it must be a combination of those two ingredients that keeps the cracks at bay. If you're somebody that gets these cracks, you get me, you know what I'm talking about. And if you have the cracks, and you start using the A&D cream, you have to give your hands time for the cracks to heal. This cream is really great at preventing new cracks. Now, I can tell when a crack is coming. I get this weird, tingly little feeling on the end of my finger, and I know it's coming, and I make sure that I use this stuff almost every single night in the winter time. I slather it on my fingers. I, I don't, you know, you can't really rub it in. You always can see it on the end of your fingers, but I make sure that it is on the tips of my fingers and the cuticles really good. And this is how I go to bed at night, basically like that. <laughs> but I just put it all over my fingertips. I get in bed just like this, and within about 10 minutes, it does soak into your skin, but you're gonna see it on your fingers for the first couple minutes and think, oh no, I can't touch anything, but it's fine. Put it on there really, really good, get in bed, and it will soak in. But the trick is prevention, prevention, prevention. So if you get the cracks, Right now, go to your grocery or get on Amazon. I will link this in the description box because I have a hard time finding this at my grocery store. I can only find the ointment version, which does not work. You must have the cream version. I actually have to order mine on Amazon, but if winter is coming where you are, get your A&D cream ready. And when I've talked about this in the past, I know a lot of you all that get them have said you have put super glue on the tips of your fingers where the cracks are to try to stop the pain. I've done that. I have actually, for many years, would put an antibiotic ointment on each of my fingers and wrap my fingers in band-aids to keep the ointment on there while I slept. And that is no way to sleep. That is no way to have to, you know, go to bed every night. So once I discovered that the A&D cream will prevent the cracks, you can bet your booty I'm using this almost every single night. It's just what I have to do to keep the cracks from happening. But if you get the cracks, absolutely give the A&D cream a try. And if it works for you, you are so, so welcome. So after I've slathered my fingertips in A&D cream, I come in here, I get in bed and I pick up my Necessaire hand cream. This actually stays on my nightstand. And if you're not familiar with the brand Necessaire, it is, oh my gosh, my daughters got me hooked on this a couple years ago. They gave me a bottle of this hand lotion for my birthday. 
and this is the best hand lotion I have ever, 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 ever used in my life. I am obsessed with this. I actually use it all year long. It's not just a winter thing, but every night when I get in bed, I put the Necessaire lotion on the back of my hand, and it is the most luxurious, I, I don't know how to explain it. It just has the best feeling to it. And you know how a lot of lotion, you can just feel it there. It leaves like a greasiness or I'm just aware that there's lotion on my hands. There's something about this Necessaire that is so fantastic. It is fragrance free, number one, which I love. It is a vegan product and it is just pure luxury and it just soaks in your hands so well. You don't feel it on there, but yet you know it's doing its job. I cannot go to sleep without it. It's just part of my nighttime routine. I even put it on the palms of my hands. It just helps me to keep my hands soft and hydrated. And funny story is, you know back in the day when the show Everybody Loves Raymond was on, did you ever notice that every night when Patricia Heaton would get in bed, she would be rubbing lotion on her hands all the way up to her elbows. That was her nighttime routine. And I used to laugh and say, who does that? But actually now I'm the person that does that. I'm slathering on my Necessaire hand lotion every single night. Now I don't do it all the way to my elbows. I just do my hands, the palms of my hands, my fingers, in the winter, not my fingertips because my A&D cream is on there. If it's summertime and I'm not using my A&D cream, then I do rub the Necessaire on my fingertips. This is just one of the things you have to trust me. Buy yourself a tube of this. It is so fantastic. You will become hooked. And because I love the Necessaire hand lotion so much, for my last birthday, my daughters bought me their body lotion, which I now put on my legs and arms, and I just recently ordered their neck serum. I've only had the neck serum for a couple days, actually one day. My last night was the first night that I used it, but this is supposed to be full of all kinds of peptides, which produce collagen in your neck to help get rid of the wrinkles that I have on my neck because I, growing up, apparently did not moisturize and take care of my neck. And now that I'm older, I'm 51, I am seeing kind of a wrinkledy neck. So I'm hoping that the Necessaire Neck Serum can kind of bring my neck back to life. I'll have to keep you posted on that. But their hand cream, their body lotion, pure luxury, definitely try it out. Now, I will put a link to Necessaire in the description box below this video. You can find these items on Amazon. They're more expensive on Amazon. I just go directly to Necessaire itself and order all of my products. And the last thing that I have to set up to get ready for winter time is my happy light. That little square thing right there on my desk is my happy light. I've done several videos about my happy light, why I use it, what it is, why I love it, and what it does for me and the way that it makes me feel. If you're not familiar with the Happy Light, I will link all of those videos right up here so you can go back and watch them. But basically, a Happy Light, it mimics the natural sunlight. So if I were to go out and get natural sunlight on my face and in my eyes, that sunlight sets a rhythm within my body. It controls your sleep pattern, your eat pattern, it gives you energy, all of the things that the sun does for you. So just imagine, you know how when you see sunflowers growing outside and they're during the day they're always open and happy and they're facing the sun, and in the nighttime they, they kind of close up and drop their heads? Well, that is what the happy light does for me. I am that sunflower, and when I cannot go outside and get natural sunlight, my body misses it. I kind of stay in this uh, sunflower state. So I use a happy light all winter long from October to about March or April or whenever the weather gets warm enough here that I can go outside and get my natural sunlight on my face. If I don't, I get what I call the winter blues. I don't have energy. I'm just kind of <laughs> ho-hummy. I'm not my normal, perky, uh, happy go-getter self. I mean, I am, I am in a sense, it's just less. It's just dialed down in the winter time and it all is based on the sunlight. 
So every single morning I sit at my desk, I have my happy light on my desk permanently for six months out of the year, and I turn it on and it shines in the direction of my face. So let me read you off of the Vera Lux description on Amazon, some of the scientific information, because I wanna make sure that I get this correct. The Vera Lux happy light is LED, full spectrum light and it is UV free, which means you're not gonna get a sunburn. You're not gonna get a suntan. It is a light therapy lamp that delivers up to 10,000 lux, which is effective, safe, and natural light therapy. It improves your sleep, your mood, your focus, and your energy. And I am 100% a believer in that statement. When I have the light on me for 25 minutes every morning, I can literally, I'm not exaggerating, feel myself come to life. I can feel me waking up I can get energy and I can just, it's an internal feeling. I feel it happening. So I know the light is working. The light makes me sleep so much better. If I don't use the light, I stay in sort of a just sleepy-ish gray mode all day long. And so when it's time to go to sleep at night, because I've been in that gray mode, does that make sense, a gray mode? But because I've been in that gray mode all day long, I have a hard time actually going to sleep. But my happy light wakes me up during the day. I'm going and I'm full of energy and I'm excited. So when it's time to go to sleep at night, it's so much easier for me to turn it off and actually go to sleep. So the happy light comes in lots of different sizes and shapes. I upgraded my happy light a couple years ago to one that is paper thin, super, super thin. It's on a little stand and it has three buttons. Well, actually four buttons. So I have mine on my desk. You can see how paper thin it is. And I turn it on. Whoa. You can adjust the temperature, the brightness, and then this is the timer. It works in five second increments. So there's 25 seconds and it's doing a countdown for me. You can set it up to one hour if you need to, but once my timer is set, if I needed to get up, I just press it, and it goes into pause mode, and then I come back and I press it again, and the timer starts right back up. And the reason that's important is because you need to know and keep track of how long you've been in front of the light. You don't wanna overdo it, you don't wanna underdo it. Before I had this upgraded light with the timer on it, I wouldn't pay attention. I wasn't looking at what time I got started on the light and I would get up to run to the restroom and not realize how long I'd been in front of the light. So the timer is just super convenient. I sit down, I turn it on, I put it on 25 minutes and it goes off after 25 minutes. And so I don't have to think about how long I've been in front of the light. The happy light that I have also has four brightness levels, so you can customize it to the way you like it. And it has three color temperature options, a warm light, a bright light, a cool light, just whatever it feels most comfortable to you. So the happy light would be fantastic for somebody that works a night shift. It helps with your sleep pattern. It helps with your energy. It truly does help with your focus. I started using a happy light just because of my mood in the winter time. I just always, like I said, felt it like I was in the color gray. The winters where I live in Kentucky are very gloomy. They're gray. They're cloudy. We don't get a lot of sunshine in the winter time. And I just felt like I just could never open my eyes all the way in the winter. I was always just, you know, half happy, not really full of energy. And I heard about the happy light. I bought one. I am a true believer. It works. It works for me. I tell everybody I know about the happy light. I am just a true believer of the happy light. And my husband even said the other day, 
uh-oh, the weather's looking bad. Where it's showing it's going to get cold. It's going to be cloudy and rainy. Do we need to get out your happy light? And I said, I've already thought about it. It is already on my to-do list. I have heard from several different sources that if you have cataracts, you cannot use a happy light. So please do your research before you buy a happy light. I got mine on Amazon. And like I said, there's so many different sizes and models and some of them have different buttons. I have, which I think is the most updated model, but since they came out with mine, which is white, they do have a newer version that I think is gold. There's a silver one and possibly a black one. I just have the white one, but I think they all do the same thing. So I'll put links to the Happy Light in the description box below this video. But if you are like me, you get the winter blahs, the winter blues, or you're lacking focus or energy, or your sleep is not great in the winter time, look into a Happy Light. Try a Happy Light. I am a believer. So that's how I prepare for winter at my house. My Happy Light, my Necessaire Lotion, and my A&D Cream for my fingers. <laughs> that's what I do. And I tried to think of, uh, oh my gosh. That was not me, I promise. That was Pollux and his pokey pig. Was that you, Pollux? Show him your pig. <laughs> he got in the toy box and got out. The grunty pig right as I was talking didn't you I'm hoping that some of the things that I shared with you in this video will help I can get nothing done somebody is always barking <laughs> but I hope that if you have any of those three issues dry hands cracked fingertips or the blahs in the winter I've helped you with all of the information in this video so happy wintering to you and I'll see you later